Hello everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm gonna to be covering the quad explosive railway rifle. And even if you don't have an explosive, I would recommend a quad. Um, th like the gun is amazing, but having it quad really makes it special. And then the added effect of explosive is just like an extra nod. Um, this gun is amazing, trust me, as I'm going to show you when we get into the video. And of course, let me know in the comments some builds that you guys use, or maybe some different ways you use the uh, railway rifle. Um, I just want to thank Thomas Kennedy and Gabriel Denis. Sorry if I said your name wrong, guys. Thank you so much for becoming new members to the channel, and we will figure out a name soon. But anyway, let's get into the video here. So... Like I said, quad explosive. Um, the third effect, less vats cost. Um, break slower is a good one. Less vats cost is probably one of the better ones. Um, like I said, pay attention to the comments, everybody. Um, there's some people that know things that I don't, but uh, just having a quad explosive, this thing is a beast. Now, in order to get a railway rifle, I just wanted to show you quick. You can pretty much go to any train station. Like this is the first one that I went to. And there is a plan here so you can make the railroad rifle. And I do highly recommend you getting the plan for it. I think it was just like 1800 caps here. It's not too much. And of course, for what I'm gonna be showcasing, you're going to need the automatic piston barrel. I think it's a barrel. It would make sense that it is. But um, you can find them pretty much at any train station. Like I said, this was the first one I went to. And of course, you know, the piston receiver was there and the railway rifle was there as well. And, you know, 1,400 caps and 176 caps. It might be a little bit more for you if you don't have hard bargain or your charisma high like I do. That's probably why it was a little cheaper. But honestly, it won't be much more than that. And like I said, I do recommend buying it, not go looking for it. Now, the reason you want to do that is, is so when you craft it, you can learn the mods for it as well. So what you're going to do is, is you're just going to go under machine guns, look for railway rifle, and you're going to need gunsmith level three, and then just make a bunch of them. And then you can break them down and you will learn the mods for it. You're not going to see me learn the mods in the video because I already know them. And I do recommend not making level 50s, make level 30s, because you will still unlock the same mods. It does not make a difference other than the fact that you will not use as many materials. So again, highly recommend just making a bunch of level 30s. And um, there's, it's not too hard to get the, um, the mods for this. Like I got them extremely fast. I don't even think I had to make 10 railway rifles, um, except for that automatic piston. That's why I said, make sure you buy that at the train station when you're there too. But other than that, the rest of the mods are fairly easy to get if you just make some and scrap them. And this is what I would have on them. Um, I didn't want to go too much into it. There's not really much. You just put the long barrel on it, um, the recoil uh, compensating stock. Um, I like a reflex sight. Maybe you like a scope and maybe an, an appearance difference. Or I think you can put a bayonet on it if you want to stab people. <laughs> it, whatever floats your boat. Now, like I said, just scrap them and you will learn the plans. You can see I didn't, but I didn't know a plan for the Focus Gatling laser here. And you can see there's a mod for it right there. So that's how you learn mods for guns is by scrapping them. And then, of course, you're going to have to, you know, try to find a quad explosive, which is easier said than done. I recommend Reddit, some Facebook groups, um, like checking vendors and you know modules of course you will have to get lucky but just keep in mind even if you get a quad it, it is pretty amazing the explosive is just the extra though you, you you need it but like i said quad is amazing um another thing i wanted to point out with this weapon is that it is extremely cheap to make ammo not to mention you can go into the daily ops and just farm as much ammo as you want. But even crafting it at Tinker Tom's workbench here, it's only steel to make it. And if you put on all the good perks and all that when you're making ammo, you're going to get tons of it. It just weighs a lot. Just keep that in mind. That's why I'm showing, you know, Bandolier is probably a good perk to have on if you're going to be running this build. Um, the ammo does get kind of heavy. Um, of course, I would recommend having all the commandos on as well, um, especially tank killer, because you are going to be using a quad. You want that, you know, little bit of an extra anti-armor effect added to it as well, which is kind of what tank killer does. I think it's 75% of what anti-armor would be, so it's still fairly good and you definitely want that. 
Um, I would suggest Tenderizer, of course, for some extra damage. Um, Demolition Expert, if you can get your hands on that Quad Explosive, of course, you're going to want on. And Nerd Rage, of course. Um, but I'm going to show later on in the video that you don't even need to have low health for this gun to be very good. So, if, if you're not a bloodied build or an unyielding armor set or something like that, then... I would still recommend going to try this gun. It is extremely overpowered, even without Nerd Rage and Demolition Expert. Just a quad railway rifle with, you know, the perks on except Nerd Rage and Demo, are, is it's extremely powerful. Um, obviously, I recommend Adrenaline. Um, you're going to have so much VATS to use, um, you're going to want Adrenaline to back that up so you get, you know, more damage. And another little... Uh, trick here I would recommend is better criticals because the critical meter on this weapon fills up so fast which I'm going to show and bloody mess of course and the trick is is just kind of um, lock on them with vats you can hold the trigger button because it's an automatic piston and then you're just gonna kind of spam the triangle button because you'll just keep getting criticals as you can see here and look how fast that behemoth died like he just got destroyed I think I only had like one or two kills towards adrenaline there as well so that, that's not even doing it justice. It's a lot better than that, even. <laughs> um, here's a Meyer Lurk Queen, and this isn't even me shooting her legs. Um, I could have put Concentrated Fire on, but you don't even need it. Like, it still just absolutely destroys a Meyer Lurk Queen. Um, yeah, didn't have a full clip there, I don't think. But even then, like, that's extremely impressive. Um, I'm gonna show against some Scorch Beasts here, like regular enemies, <laughs> like ghouls and stuff, like you're just gonna one or two shot them. Um, it's th This gun is absolutely devastating to enemies, it really is. Um, especially with how fast the criticals fill up and how little VATS, it, or sorry, how little AP it uses in VATS, which you're gonna see. And like I said, the trick is kind of, even without the better criticals perk card, I would be, you know, locking on with VATS because this the, the recoil on this gun is horrible. So you wanna lock on with VATS and then just hold the, you know, the button, the trigger button and then spam triangle. And you know, whatever you're shooting is gonna die, I assure you. Um, like I said, against regular enemies like super mutants, like it's just laughable, like they're just insta kills almost. And yeah, even against the Scorch Beast Queen, Earl, and um, the Ultrasight Titan, without not so many perks, you can still do a lot of damage to the boss enemies. And if you really beef up this and make like a whole dedicated build to the Railway Rifle, you will like, you're, it's one of the most powerful builds, uh, I think, that I've heard of anyway. Um, up there with um, a Stealth Fixer and a chainsaw like the railway rifle is one of the most powerful weapons in the game um, i'm sure that will be reassured in the comments and i'm sure it will be argued as well but that's fine <laughs> that, that my opinion is it's one of the strongest weapons in the game and from my experience that's definitely um what i would say now i just wanted to show too i i'm not using nerd rage here i just you know upped my health a lot and i don't have adrenaline going here and you can see it still you know hits enemies pretty hard um, I feel like it didn't hit too hard on that mole miner there. That's not the greatest example. So I just wanted to come up here and show you the behemoth. Just keep in mind, um, without unyielding, you're not going to have as much AP. And, um, yeah, so as you can see, your, your, uh, vats won't last as long. But, yeah, just don't hold it till you go to the ceiling there or to the sky. Just, you know... Um, coordinate your hits if you're going to do it this way because that recoil is just insane but like I said it is still very powerful even though um, you're not using nerd rage here's a legendary Myler queen I wanted to show like she didn't even get a chance to mutate I just destroyed her and uh, yeah highly recommend trying this gun it's the, the hardest part about this thing is getting your hands on it unfortunately but like I said I recommend Facebook groups reddit and just vendor hopping it's it's the hardest part like i said is, is going to be finding it and uh yeah that's it everybody thank you so much for watching the video take care have a great day